What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Today on Tennis Now News, the latest results from Paris, a betting scandal, Navratilova reaching new heights, and Serena gets a wild new look. While his three-year-old son, Theo, dances in the aisle, Michael Lodra continues to make attacking tennis look like child's play against past Paris Masters champions. The 30-year-old Frenchman wowed the home crowd in defeating 2006 Paris champion Nikolai Davidenko 7-5-6-1 to reach his first career Masters semifinal. It marked the second straight day Lodra took down a champion. The 34th-ranked left-hander played a brilliant brand of attacking tennis in dispatching defending champion Novak Djokovic in straight sets on Thursday in a match that may have been a preview of next month's Davis Cup final between host Serbia and France. Loder will try to be the third Frenchman to reach the final in the last three years when he takes on Robin Soderling in the semifinals. Lodra is 2-0 lifetime versus Soderling. Two-time French Open finalist Soderling smacked 18 aces in sweeping Andy Roddick 7-5-6-4. Roddick had beaten Soderling in their two prior Masters meetings at Indian Wells in March and Cincinnati in August, but Soderling was too strong in the rematch. Soderling, who may meet Roddick again at the ATP World Tour Finals in London later this month, said, Against Andy, it's always just a matter of taking the chances you get. And today, I think I did really well. Roddick commented, It was pretty average all around. I didn't start off well, and Robin is the kind of guy who, if you don't start off well, you're not going to see a lot of rallies to be able to work your way into a match. So we can look forward to the Lodra versus Soderling match, but the other semifinal that will be going on tomorrow is the match between Roger Federer and Gael Monfils. After Roger Federer beat Jurgen Melzer 6-1, 7-6 today, and Monfils had a really close match with Andy Murray, beating him by 6-2, 2-6, 6-3. World number two Federer is an IMG client and took time out this week to reiterate he knew nothing of the IMG owner Ted Forsman betting $40,000 on Federer to beat Rafael Nadal in the 2007 French Open final. Nadal is also a client of IMG. Federer, who revealed he personally contacted Forsman to find out more details on the IMG owner's betting scandal, said, the last thing I would do is harm the sport and create a negative light on our sport. Forsman also allegedly bet on another IMG star client, Tiger Woods. The ATP issued a formal warning to billionaire businessman Forsman, who claims he has not bet on tennis in three years. Tennis Integrity Unit spokesman Mark Harrison said the ATP has contacted Forsman and, quote, made it clear that since January 2009, he has been covered by the provisions of the game's anti-corruption code. Harrison said Forsman has confirmed that he understands and accepts this. Forsman, an avid recreational tennis player who also follows tennis closely and personally recruited Federer to sign on with IMG, told Bloomberg Television he has apologized to Federer in an email and called Federer a 100% honorable human being. Speaking of Federer, Forsman said, I would have been rooting for him just as hard had I had no money on him at all. In fact, when I saw him not too long ago to redo his contract, we were having some difficulties with that. I said, Roger, you should understand that no matter who represents you, I'm going to be rooting for you because you're my friend. Forsman's gambling habit has raised concern with the ATP, and you have to wonder how it will impact world number one's Nadal's future with IMG, given the fact that Forsman has admitted to betting against Nadal. Forsman is no stranger to the headlines. He formerly dated Top Chef host and model Padma Lakshmi and was once romantically linked to late Princess Diana. Superman isn't the only action hero in New York capable of leaping tall buildings. Hall of Famer Martina Navratilova scaled a 55-story Manhattan skyscraper this week to prepare for her charity climb up Mount Kilimanjaro next week. And she made some comments on, you know, who she thinks is the world's best player. Navratilova said she still regards Serena Williams as the best player in the world, but believes 20-year-old Caroline Wozniacki earned her spot as world number one and predicts Wozniacki will win her first Grand Slam title next year. Nervatilova said Wozniacki has played great all year, but not done that well in the slams. 
but she was the best player day in, day out. She needs to win a slam, she wants to win a slam, and most likely next year she'll win one. Speaking of Serena, she hit the gym this week and posted a training day photo of herself on Twitter. Clad in a black leotard, black lace stockings, and pink Nikes, aspiring actress Serena looked like she was paying personal tribute to Jennifer Beals in Flashdance or auditioning for the Pussycat Dolls. But the 13-time Grand Slam champ has been busy out of the gym as well. Serena has joined forces with NBA All-Star Steve Nash to encourage fans to start their own charitable foundations. Serena is offering a $5 contribution to fans who create their own charities. For more information, click Serena's photo on the Tennis Now homepage. Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel, just that button right up there, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. See you next week.